welcome to my Sophie Kitchen. Today I'm here with my niece Natalie and we'll have her say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll just see your hands for this first part and then at the end we'll say goodbye to you guys. So today we are making, and she's busy trying to find us some more lye. We are in Idaho and I am making soap for a custom order. This is um, human milk and it's been frozen and ready for a baby soap. So we are going to make some more. And everything is measured, so we have got frozen milk. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the lye. And I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. We're making soap. time finance because she wanted a bigger order and we've got all this milk we've got to use but we're going to make what we can right now and we'll come up with another plan if we have to another third let's get it a little closer so you can see right into the bowl yeah oh thank you but put it on my uh suitcase okay hi hi I'm making lies, so if you don't have any gloves and goggles, you need to back away, kiddo. Sorry. <laughs> Even though you're 16, it is still burning stuff. Oh. I'm not working in a soapy kitchen, I'm working in a culinary kitchen, and so nobody's allowed in here unless they have gloves and goggles. Alright, so it just burns and stuff then? Huh? So it like burns and stuff then? It does, it could burn you very easily. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. I don't think I like that. <laughs> okay, if you don't have gloves or um, eye eyewear, don't come in this room, okay? Alright. There is an extra pair of goggles if you want to come and watch. We just had a whole bunch of people show up. I have been trying to get this. Set up for ever. So we've still got lots of that chunky lie in the bottom. So we're going to continue stirring it gently. The nice part about making soap with uh, frozen is there's absolutely no um, fumes at all. So it's kind of a, a safe way to do soaping. This may caramelize a little bit because it wasn't all completely um, melted. So yeah, this is going to be a little darker. And there we go. Hydrochloric acid is not a salt. Hydrochloric acid would just make a more acid solution. Yeah, just because it will burn does not make it a good medium for an ingredient. Because what I have in this bowl is fatty acids, which are oils. So if you add a, a, a hydrochloric acid to it, you're just adding oils together. And for you to be able to make a soap, you need to combine a salt, like potassium hydroxide, or sodium hydroxide, Hi, which, are so, which are which are which are um, alkaline, yes. so um, caustic alkaline. So where hydrochloric acid will burn you okay. with acid, um, oh, sodium oh, hydroxide okay. will burn you with salt. Yes. And both are both are very terrible. <laughs> one's a zero on the pH scale, and the other one's a fourteen. <laughs> and a polar opposites, but they do the same thing. <laughs> what if somebody could actually create a Snapchat box for her turn to the back bone? Oh, that'd be really cool. Maybe that'd you should be. develop that, Jacob. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you guys carried yeah. live jets. First soap making. First soap making. making. Yeah. Alright, look at that. I'm not going to eat my makeup. Alright. 
right, so we've got, we're going to be soaping in heat transfer techniques. I'm just going to get you higher and bring you back in a little closer. So I thought I just measure I just mentioned while I'm out I often will you know come up with formulations on the fly and this um, was actually designed with what was available and so we have a combination of virgin coconut oil which we got from Costco olive oil and sorting oil um, we'll see how it turns out uh, we've got a nice virgin exotic wonderful oil it's always essential for me for cleaning bubbles and cleanliness and a nice bulk oil which is soybean a lot of times I will use canola and then a nice uh, creamy oil olive oil which will give you small creamy bubbles I generally like to add a wax like stearic acid or beeswax, but since I'm not an mom, I don't have those things, but it still should be a wonderful smell. I must say, though, it's awfully nice to have a little sea shell that keeps them back. Chance you could duct tape those back. Next time. So please walk me by. Now that he's fussy, do you see them anywhere? Actually, I'll just the duct tape is, I think you can get it. Pretty close. Light grace. You definitely need motion. <laughs> going to set this over here for a few minutes and get another bowl because we're going to make some scented soap today, right Sarah? I don't think so, some lavender, right? No, jacquard noir. Oh, yeah. I really like that. Portion of that. Add 
do you want the uh What kind of sh what kind of um, mold do you want this in? really good. I'm pretty sure uh, somebody cleans up, but he did. Brambleberry? Probably. She had a big brambleberry order. Yeah. Or Wellington. It's one or the other. I don't think they care. Mom did a lot of light over it. Yeah, they're mostly fragrance left. I don't know if they do now. I can order for a while. So I'm not really sure. You could be absolutely right. Liquid gold. It is liquid gold. Totally liquid gold. Look at me one. I'll just steal some out of this bucket. Finish it up, chop it up. Because why not? do some plain ones for embeds and stuff later. There's one. Stuff. Let's see if this cake mold will work. Is still looking like cake mold? I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Turn on still, yeah. That poor viewing stuff design. I just need to do a little scrapey and we'll see you.